Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Obi Thorne Alliance. What are we doing today, Jacob? We are reviewing Scream 6. So stick around and see what we think of Scream 6. So Scream 6, Jacob hasn't seen it, so it's gonna be me reviewing it. We've, we're doing this one because it's a franchise that I really, really like, and Dra Jacob's coming intrigued in it, so I'm trying to convince him to watch it. So as I said, Scream 6, the sixth of the franchise, the original came out in 1996, so it's been going on as long as Jacob's been alive, so it's um, been around for a while now. The movies are, you know, still keeping interesting and still relevant, so reviewing 6. So in Scream 6, the plot basically, uh, it's following these new main characters that entered in Scream 5. They have now finished high school and they have gone to college. Pretty much all the main characters, or as they call themselves, the, the core four. They all happen to go to the same college in New York City, which is nowhere near where the original series is set. And uh, murders start happening again. Someone's using this ghost face mask. But this time they're a little bit different. They're leaving clues behind. They're leaving masks of previous killers behind as kind of clues and they're ultimately saying that they're going to stop at no end to, but to kill the main characters and yeah it follows that this movie it promises to be bigger and different than the others and i think it does do that i think that there's more killing i think that it's kind of more clever in the way they do it but it definitely does that so it follows this happening and as in most, well, every screen movie, eventually the, the killer gets found out and revealed who it is, and the the main characters live on once again. So I'm not going to give away what exactly happens. It's a slasher film. You get what happens. Chased by a knife. Some people get killed. The main characters don't. That's basically what happens in a nutshell for this movie. So let's move into a verdict. So I gave this movie uh, 72%. I think that that's you know, pretty fair, to be honest, for a slasher film. It's not groundbreaking, it's not something unique, it's just a continuation of the current franchise. I was captivated by it, I like what they did. Other people think otherwise, I think that it was pretty tacky in the way they went about it, but I enjoyed it in the end. I was sus I was a bit suspect of who it was going to be the killer. As always, the motive is hard to pick. So I didn't pick the motive, but I did get one of the killers. As in all screen films, except for one, there's always two killers. So the, the third film is the only one where there's one, but this one, there's more than one. I'm not gonna say how many. So they've gone bigger and better this time again. It's very meta in the screen franchises. What they like to do is they kind of allude to the fact that they're in a movie or the people within it are big film buffs. So they're always like, in the second screen, they go, oh, well, this is a prequel. Someone's trying to recreate these murders. These are the rules of a prequel. And they always talk about that. In screen five, they talk about it being a recall that someone is recreating exactly what happened in the original film. And then this one is a recall of a sequel. So they're basically, someone is trying to recreate what happens in the second screen film. Second screen film, main characters from the first go to college. This. The new main characters in Scream 5, they have murders happen in high school. The, the sixth film, they go to college. So it's kind of, the sixth film is kind of a remake of the second film in a way. But they all relate because they bring the same characters. It's very confusing, you gotta watch it. But I think it works well. So I really enjoyed it. I think if you're a fan of Scream, you definitely gotta watch it. If you haven't seen the Scream franchise, I think you should. They're pretty easy to watch, they're likable. They're few jump scares. It's not, it's, they're not scary films. I just think that they're funny. They're almost laughable. So I, I think it's worth watching. I find them entertaining. That's the only way I can summarize it. So that's my verdict and, re and summary of it. You got any questions for me, Jacob? So I guess, is it worth getting into the franchise? Because I know for myself, the reason why I didn't see Scream 6, and I guess other people would feel the same is because they might have not seen Scream 1. Do you think it's better to stream and then get into the franchise because there's a Scream 7 or should people just, you know, get into Scream 6 or is it better to get, you know? Nah, start from the start. I think you, mm. I think that's what makes it cool, the fact of how it continues on. Uh, I think you got to start from the start. I think the ones at the... 
the first two to three films were probably the best and the most unique and then the next ones start to come a bit meta and interesting but not as good uh, so I think it's worth I think you gotta watch it and knowing that there's another one coming I think get in soon because there's probably gonna be another one after that I just think it's gonna be one of these franchises that goes on forever because unlike the other like other similar franchises you know you've got your Halloweens and your Freddy's vs. Jason's and you know Friday the 13th as well with you know Jason and Nightmare on Elm Street with Freddy they have the same villain who seems to keep coming back from the dead or like not dying or they kind of remake the film where it's a new origin story these don't do this they don't remake the film mm. they kind of remake it within it and make reference to it but they're not it's the same characters continuing on they're, the killer is always someone different it's always someone copycatting what happened so first film the original people go on this murdering spree the second film someone wants to copy what they did the third film someone wants to copy the fourth film someone's jealous and wants to redo it it's always someone else that just wants to do it and because within the films there's a film franchise called stab which is uh movies that they make based upon what happens in this movie people come obsessed with that and then they become killers because they're obsessed with this movie and they're like oh the people are ruining the franchise and they go on a murdering spree and start killing people so it's really cool it's like it's very meta it's a movie within a movie about people watching movies it, it, i think it's very cool so you gotta watch it from the start basically okay do you think there's been too many screams since this is the sixth one and we're gaining a seventh one like should they have tried to make maybe three or four and try and have a ending in mind like has this franchise been overdone or does it need to keep on going it doesn't need to but i like that it does i find each film quite intriguing we saw if you look at the numbers at the box office it's actually made a lot more money than it cost to make so people are going out to see it when i went to see it the film it was packed so i think and it was full of teenagers so it's attracting new fans so it's not like if I went there and everyone was, you know, my age or older and I go, oh, it's just the same people. They're getting new fans. So what more can you ask? So I, I think yeah, I'm happy for it to keep going on. If it was to end, I'm not going to cry myself to sleep. It's fine. But as long as it keeps going, I'll keep seeing it because they are ridiculous by nature. I guess it's like people that enjoy the Fast and the Furious franchises. I think they're ridiculous and I don't like them, but they are ridiculous by nature so if you like them you'll just keep seeing them because you're like well, I, I don't care how stupid this is i know it's going to be stupid i'm expecting it to be stupid and this is the same for me i think i expect it to be stupid but i, I do think it's a lot better than fast and furious i think it makes a lot more sense and it's a lot less realistic and this involves murders opposed to driving cars to think that a horror film is more realistic than an action film is baffling but yeah i think it's quite i think it's worth seeing i really do i think from the start and i i hope they continue to make them there'll be a point where it'll be overkill but i don't know i think i'll still as long as one comes out i'll go see it did you like that we got to see our first uh killer using a gun in the franchise because from the trailer we get to see some one of the killers use a shotgun in the convenience store. Yeah, it's different. We've seen in the past, basically, Ghostface has always used the same weapon of choice, a knife. Uh, this time, the gun by convenience. He didn't show up with a gun. They acquired the gun whilst trying to kill someone. But we got to see something different, which was nice. I also think with this film, what we got to see different was it basically someone gets murdered very early on in the film mm. and then the killer takes off their mask and you're like what the hell like they'd never show you the killer is at the beginning only for that person then to get killed so it kind of threw some spanners in the works and did something different so there was two differences that this film has done than others and as again within the film because it's very meta they mention it this is a requel of a prequel so we're of a sequel, I don't know how they word it. They said it's going to get bigger, there's going to be more gore, there's going to be more murders, there's higher stakes, they're going to be different, and it delivered. I think it did what it promised, and I can't ask for any more. So where does this rank out of the screams for you? Mm, that's a hard one to try and rank it. I guess because it's the one that I most remember, because it's the newest, it sits high because I remember it so well. Mm. But I think the original three probably take top spots. I, in order... I'd have to rewatch them again, but you know, just because they are the beginning of the franchise, 
out of the two most recent ones, I think it's better than five. And I don't really remember four that well. So I think it's in the top half of the six. Probably teeters on four. So it's three or four, somewhere in there, but it's definitely not the bottom. So yeah, maybe that's a video for another time. So you're glad that you watched it? Definitely, looking forward to the next one. I don't know where it's gonna go. They never really leave anything to go, oh, this is what's gonna happen next. It's always, everything's perfect. We all managed to survive and get out of here unscathed with a few stab wounds. And then it's like a year later, oh, another person calls them up, what's your favorite scary movie? And they jump out the closet and try and stab them. It's just the same thing, but I like it. I do like it. So um, they, they, always, they always end with, not leaving you on a cliffhanger going, there's another one. So when a new one comes out, you just go, well, it's going to be different. It's going to be original because it's not trying to follow on. But they do tie them in. Pretty much every villain they've ever had has had a, a connection to previous villains. Or, so they, they tie them in. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review. And if you're intending to see Scream, comment down below your thoughts about the movie. As always, you're awesome. And keep being awesome and see you next time. Bye-bye.